Alright, I am back with another Destiny 2 video, and uh, I was wrong. <laughs> I know, it's shocking, given that I've never been wrong about anything uh, in the history of time. But the season finale for Season of the Wish was not five months from now, it is actually this week. And while we still have to wait <laughs> five months for the next season and, uh, well, not season, uh, <laughs> the next expansion, followed by the first episode... Uh, at least we have the conclusion to this seasonal story, which is not really surprising in any way. Uh, it is exactly what they said it would be, and uh, with no left turns or anything like that. So, we did have uh, one final mission. No dicking around the Dreaming City uh, in patrol mode or doing blind well or anything like that. Um, we just had to run a modified version of the coil where we did the little intermediate zones, which are the same, but the um, the actual zones for combat were a little different. One is just doing the whole kill the guys with poison and get through the poison shields thing just in a in the queen's private chambers, quote unquote. Uh, and then the final one was uh, in a room where we fight a scorn boss that looks like that one scorn warlord, the one with bombs. Uh, and we... One interesting thing is that we learned that Fickrel has something to do with this. These are like Fickrel Scorn, which I think those were Fickrel Scorn of the Dungeon 2. And the implication being that uh, Fickrel is not aligned with the Witness. Fickrel has his own plans, and we have a Scorn episode coming up. So I would be shocked if that was not some sort of very minor preview for that. Uh, I guess it's possible that Fickrel is in the final shape, because we do need... <laughs> enemies to fight and maybe those enemies are scorn and maybe Fickrel is a campaign boss and the witness is the final boss of the raid and whatever um so I'm not going to rule that out either in terms of what actually happened we get ribbon's last egg and then everything proceeds uh exactly according to plan uh, crow agrees to go through the portal we make um the 15th wish which is literally just going to uh, the Wishing Wall and the Dreaming City. It's like this little modified version of it. And they even put these little, like, ascendant hover steps to get to the Wishing Wall for people who don't know, like, the, quote, normal way of getting there, which I found kind of funny. The Wish is not complicated. We already did it once. Uh, it's just shooting four tiles that light up. That is literally it. A little anticlimactic that you do that and then nothing happens. The mission just ends. But then you go back to home base and... Crow is, is ready to go with Petra and Mara, and we send him through uh, using our, our wish uh, and ley lines or something. And then, yeah, we sort of get this, uh, we have this final talk with Riven where, you know, understa she understands that this wish will cause her to not be summoned as a ghost anymore. So this is effectively the end of her existence. Um, she compares herself to her old mate who granted wishes with no strings attached, and as it happens, this does not appear to have any strings attached. She just granted our wish to get Crow over there, and nothing bad happened. There are no left turns. Uh, it's just really straightforward, which I guess is good for us and our prospects against the Witness. It's just kind of boring. Um, <laughs> I I don't know. Like I'd like to be surprised here and there, and I, I just don't think anything was terribly surprising about this season like i enjoyed learning the history of riven and her mate but i think that's essentially the only part of the story i liked here like just collecting eggs and then unfolding this plan to get through the portal that we already know we're getting through is not something i found terribly interesting nor was this ending to that storyline terribly interesting either so uh we are done with the seasonal storyline mara talks about crow quote unquote being on his way <laughs> to the portal or through the portal and i guess that can just be some unspecified amount of time this time being five months um and now kind of questions remain about the things that are supposed to happen in between now and then uh, namely the possibly story-based things like there's supposed to be these additional weekly wishes where we don't exactly know what those are um i don't think it's going to be anything too elaborate or story infused but i guess we'll see and then we have this into the light thing that starts uh, two months before the final shape. 
which is supposed to be a combination of veteran things, but also a way to introduce new players to Destiny, right, with a vinyl shape. Don't really have any clue as, as to what that's going to be like. If they are trying to preview people for the final shape, you would imagine that, you know, the goal is to have some sort of story progression leading into the final shape, not just, you know, we already had these like catch up missions and stuff like that. So I, I would assume that's going to have some sort of story basis for the final shape. Um, we know it's not anything as big as 30th anniversary content, but we really just don't have any sense of scale as to what that will be. It is a, quote, progression-based quest, which that's I, I think they just mean uh, like it progresses week to week for two months. But again, it is not going to be as substantive as a full season. Obviously, uh, I don't know if I'm expecting anything like a new activity to run or, or something like that. I don't know. Maybe they modify the coil. Well, no, because it's free to play, so they won't do that. Uh, I don't know. I don't think anyone really knows other than something is arriving to fill that space, but it is probably not anything super involved. So more or less, we're, we have a very lengthy break. We have, you know, four and a half months, almost almost five months uh, before the final shape arrives. And it is time to either play your ritual activities or catch up on things you want to do in Destiny or stop playing Destiny and play a lot of other games like the enormous amount of uh, 2023 games that are no doubt in your backlog. Uh, in a couple weeks here, I will be playing Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. A bunch of previews from journalists came out today who went to an LA event, which I was not going to go to. Um, and it's like pretty mixed. It's like mixed to negative about what they felt about it. Uh, so I don't know. I, I'm obviously going to give it a shot. I kind of want to talk more about that preview, uh, but I'll probably do that tomorrow since we had actual story stuff to talk about today. Uh, so yeah, I think I just end this season a little disappointed, um, especially compared to last. I feel like last season had a good storyline with Eris and good activities, whereas here we only have good activities and it's only one activity, it's the coil, but the seasonal storyline has just sort of been nothing and just concocting some sort of elaborate way to get through the portal. I guess the one interesting takeaway is now we do have these 15 Ahamkara eggs that we could... No, wait, no, how many are there? No, we didn't do 15. Is it like eight? I, <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's seven or eight, given how many weeks we've been doing this. No way, they skipped a week. So yeah, one of the things is like Riven said that there was going to be a delay in, in egg collecting, which he was mad about, and that's what I interpreted to be five months. But instead, it was just taking a week off egg collecting, and then we did the egg this week. So I think it's six eggs total but that raises the question like can we hatch some new ahamkara what happens when we bring the ahamkara back to life after hunting them to almost extinction that could be you know an interesting storyline in the future but i guess we'll see so yeah this season is effectively over from a story standpoint and the stuff we're getting uh is is definitely going to be more minor than what we've gotten already uh we don't we just don't have any full details about that so i would think that Bungie is probably going to start talking about that stuff in a little while here. I don't know if these wishes are going to start exactly next week or if they're going to be waiting a little longer on that. They did say something about a timeline. I thought stuff wasn't starting until at least February, so this might be kind of an empty period for the rest of the month outside of, you know, getting a couple more catalysts for the Wishkeeper bow. But so, yeah, uh, I'm curious what you all thought of the story here. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon. Take care.